Hey everybody, welcome back. Quick update, um, doing some test fitting right now. We've got the 4.8 hanging in there and the, go underneath here, got the 6L90 behind it there. Um, literally just dropped it in there. I mean, nothing is in place per se, but what I wanted to show you is the, uh, the K members. So right there, we've got the factory K member. Right next to it, we have some tubular goodness. This is a UMI Road Race K member. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a little side-by-side. -side. Obviously a significant weight savings, first of all. Um, but then also later on, when I switch over to UMI's tubular upper and lower control arms, that's going to give us a lot of adjustment um, for the track. And, you know, tweaking our alignment and caster camber, toe, things like that. Um, so it's, uh, it's a multifaceted bonus going with that piece right there and that's kind of the center of it all um so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to hang both these things off of my hanging scale so you guys can see a weight so bear with me just a second all right so i don't know about that this thing's telling me it's 21 pounds Whew. apparently i'm getting weak that felt a hell of a lot heavier than 21 pounds. Let me verify and check again. Same thing again, 21.1. Okay, let's check the UMI. All right, so there is a weight savings, fairly considerable one. So we're talking six pounds, five and a half pounds. Um, not as much as I thought, but savings nonetheless. So um, this is one of the big differences um, is this uh, double section, tubular section here for the Road Race K member. Um, a lot of the other ones are just a single tube right here, which makes them lighter, um, but they also don't have the strength we need for um, the road racing. Also another key difference is this right here. It's just slotted tabs for the lower control arms. And then they have plates that lock into place here. And each plate has different locations for the A-arm mounting holes. So that allows you to adjust and dial things in. Um, another reason this one's a little bit heavier is this has the integrated motor mounts. Um, since I wanted to go with solid motor mounts, while that's an increase here on the K-member, um, it's overall going to be a decrease in weight um, with the solid motor mounts that are on the engine. So those guys right there will just lock into place on those pedestals on the K-member. And then there is no, you know, there's no rubber, there's no polyurethane, there's none of that stuff. Um, so overall, we get a weight savings there. But uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick update and show that to you. And uh, we'll keep progressing here. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.